to be in the house of the Lord tonight. I'm happy to be in this place tonight. We heard a good word this morning and it said, renew your faith. How many of you are here to renew your faith tonight? Why don't you stand to your feet? Let's begin to worship the Lord.
that he can dwell in. The Bible says that he inhabits the praises of his people. I've got to create an atmosphere where the Holy Ghost can come down. And maybe you don't need something from God, but there's somebody here tonight that needs the Holy Ghost to come down. Why don't you shout unto God? Hallelujah, create an atmosphere for the Holy Ghost to come down. Somebody ought to pick up your feet and begin to dance. Uh, somebody ought to begin to exuberantly worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords because he's worthy. I want him to show up. I want him to come down. Come on. Hallelujah. It's okay to be apostolic. It's okay for the Holy Ghost to come down. Hallelujah. Somebody, my Lord, there's, there's something going on in this house. Amen. Somebody ain't feeling it. How many need something from God? Just raise your hands. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about you need something from the Lord. Hallelujah. Now the rest of us that didn't raise our hands, let's create an atmosphere. Hallelujah. Come on, one touch of his hand can make all the difference. Hallelujah. Maybe you didn't come with a need. Hallelujah. But I want a move of the Holy Ghost. I need a move of the Holy Ghost in this house tonight. I need him to move. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, my Lord. It's almost starting to feel like it's apostolic in here. Almost, hallelujah. Oh, hey, it's like a dam. You know, you can only hold back a river so long. You can only hold back a river so long. And there's a weight of the water. There's a river that wants to flow in here. There's a river that comes from the throne of God that wants to flow. And you can't hold it back but for so long. Hallelujah. Let that river flow. Come on, let's shout unto God with our voices. Lift it up to God. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. My Lord. All right, I will do what I came up here to do. If you need something from God, just lift your hands. There's going to be needs on the screen. We take our needs before the Lord and we call them opportunities for the miraculous, miracle opportunities. We want to remember Brother Sappington, Lord, as, as the Lord has continued to touch him. And uh, I do want to thank everybody in my church family for praying for my family and uh, for my father. He passed at noon today while we were having service. And uh, we serve a merciful God. So just pray for our family. Amen. You see the needs on the screen. If you need prayer, we encourage you to come to the front. We'll anoint you with oil. I'm telling you, there's a spirit of victory in this house. God's going to have his way. Somebody's going to let him have his way. Somebody's going to get beyond themselves and let the Holy Ghost move. Hallelujah. Why don't you come? Let's pray. Jesus. God, we ask you to meet every need, Lord, those that are coming. God, we pray that you'd meet their needs, oh God. Do what only you can do, Jesus. Hallelujah. in
Jesus, oh God, that you answer prayer. Oh, I thank you, Savior, that you're an ever-present help in time of need. God, that you are a friend that sticketh closer than a brother, oh Lord. I magnify you. I thank you. I worship you, Jesus. Would you clap your hands under the Lord together right now? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated as our choir gets ready to sing. And I do have to say, I was so tremendously proud of, of the apostolic church this morning. Amen. Your worship was uninhibited, and that was great. Amen. And helped create an atmosphere for the Spirit of God to move Amen. And for our mayor and the superintendent, Dr. Allen, her husband, to be ministered to and blessed and just for the Spirit of God to move. And I appreciate that. Thank you all so very much. Amen. 
getting great reports from the service this morning. Amen. At the sanctuary in Lumberton, God's doing great things there. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Don't forget, if you have never been through our, orient, our orientation class, amen, that is beginning April 21st. And there's a sign up in the front foyer, and you would sign up for that. We'd love for you to go through that. It's a two-week class that is uh, let you know about who we are as the apostolic church, uh, our doctrine, uh, what we teach, believe, and about getting you involved as a part of the church. And then after that, there's next steps that follow after that. Amen. You can also sign up uh, with Sister Brandon and Sister Jennifer Frazier as well. And uh, Sister Brandon, would you please stand? Everybody doesn't know who you are. Amen. And you can get with her. Amen. And as our ushers are coming right now, we have a very, very special person here this evening. We thought we had dignitaries this morning, but, but right now, tonight, we have someone that is worthy of double honor, and that is Sister Helen Stone. Today is her 91st birthday. Amen. And so the SWATs will begin uh, sometime after service and probably end tomorrow. And uh, but we love her, and she is such a special part of the Apostolic Church. Amen. It's such a special thing. Amen. Why don't we stand together right now as we get ready to continue? Amen. In our service. Amen. In our giving unto the Lord. Lord, we love you. Thank you for your faithfulness, God. <laughs> oh, Lord, we magnify you. Oh, Lord, we magnify you. Hallelujah. Come on, why don't you join with somebody next to you right now? Just be sensitive to the Spirit of God in this house. I know we're praying for offering, but the Spirit of God is stirring hearts and minds. Oh, oh, oh.
worship only one God and his name, his name, his name is Jesus. There ain't nothing like praise of the Lord. When you call on Jesus, you get it all. <laughs> Acts 4 and 12 said, Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. If you need the Holy Ghost, Acts, uh, John 14 and 26, you call on Jesus. <laughs> Woo. Praise God. Man, it'd be a good night for somebody to get baptized in Jesus' name. Mm. Acts 2, 38, 8, 16, 10, 48, 19, 5, and 22, 16. Anytime anyone was baptized, they were all baptized in Jesus' name. You say, preacher, what do you mean? I've been baptized. They said, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Man, all the, I'm sorry, but all they did was repeat the commandment. I don't want to be rude. It's not your fault. <laughs> but I'm telling you, there's a name to that Father. There's a name to that Son. Jesus said, I've come in my Father's name. We know the name of the incarnate Son. It's Jesus. Acts 4, John 14 and 26 said, when you need the comforter of the Holy Ghost, you call on my name. Wait a minute. You mean I call on Jesus when I need the Father? I call on Jesus when I need the Son? I call on Jesus when I need the Holy You got it right, ma'am. You got it right, sir. And there's only one name that can be pronounced over you. That's going to wash away all your sins. Your family might remember how you used to be. Your friends might remember how you used to be. But the Bible says when you go down in that name, I'm telling you, he cast all those things into a sea of forgetfulness. And you got a new slate. You're a new creature in Christ. My God, there ain't a better program in the world. I'm telling you, I came running when they told me, all my sins can be washed away. They said, all of them. I said, sign me up. I'm going to heaven, baby. My name's going to be found in the book of life. Well, praise God. And I feel the Holy Ghost here tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. As you grab your Bibles tonight and you're turning to 2 Kings, the seventh chapter, I um, want to say what an honor it was to be with the sanctuary in Lumberton this morning. They're doing a great work. Uh, the Beers family, I give my condolences um, right now. I, I hate to hear that. Um, but the Holy Ghost just kind of nudged me and said, you tell Brother Beers, it's not his fault. He did everything he could. Amen. And, and uh, I'm telling you, we don't understand how this thing called life surpasses us. And, uh, you know, we're here one day and gone the next. And that's why we need to make it up in our mind in this end time hour we're living in. To say, I'm living for God no matter what. Hallelujah. If my family don't want to live for God, well, I love you, but I love Jesus more, and he loves me a whole lot more, and I'm going to be found on his side. If I lose friends, they're worth losing over Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, I want to give honor to the Carr family tonight. I went back and I watched the service this morning. Man, I felt the Holy Ghost. I got some nuggets. <laughs> Hey, let me tell you something. Your pastor can preach. <laughs> Didn't he evermore preach this morning? What a phenomenal job. Amen. Praise God. And uh, I want to give honor to the saints, not only of this church, but also of Lumberton. I know you're all connected. And uh, let me tell you something. There's a, you know, when you walk into a place, and I told the young people this Friday night, uh, you know when you walk into a place and it's just half casual prayer, half casual church, 
you know, not with the program. Let me tell you something. You people have tapped into something that a lot of people in this world and nation are looking for. There's a man in corners tonight crying their eyes out, saying, God, give me a move of God, what you have here tonight. You ought not ever take for granted what you're feeling right now. You feel that? You ought not ever take for granted. That wasn't the air conditioning. It's the Holy Ghost. Nobody's waving on the back of your neck right. It's the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And I give you honor tonight. And I know I'm talking a lot. But my word, I'm telling you, this church, I'm going to sound real negative right now, is doing a disservice to the apostolic movement by not making an album. I mean, y'all sound so good. I mean, I want to listen to that when I'm on a plane, when I'm in my car, when I'm at home. Praise God. That was free. Second Kings chapter 7. Amen. Verse 1. Then Elisha said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Man, I felt, I've heard preachers say, I felt my help come on. I felt it just now. Thus saith the Lord, Tomorrow. About this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel and two measures of barley for a shekel in the gate of Samaria. Then the Lord on whose hand the king leaned answered the man of God and said, Behold, if the Lord would make windows in heaven, might this thing be? And he said, Behold, thou shalt see it with thine eyes, but shalt not eat thereof. And there were four leprous men at the entering in of the gate. And they said one to another, Why sit we here until we die? If we say we will enter into the city, then the famine is in the city, and we shall die there. And if we sit still here, we die also. What a revelation. Now therefore come and let us fall unto the host of the Syrians. If they save us alive, we shall live. And if they kill us, we shall but die. You're talking about practical thinking. <laughs> and they rose up in the twilight to go into the camp of the Syrians or into the enemy's camp. And when they were come to the uttermost part of the camp of Syria, behold, there was no man there. Pay attention now. For the Lord had made the host of the Syrians to hear a noise mm, of chariots and a noise of horses, even the noise of a great host. And they said one to another, Lo, the king of Israel hired against us the kings of the Hittites and the kings of the Egyptians that come upon us. Wherefore, they arose and fled in the twilight. Praise God. Man, I felt the Holy Ghost right now. I felt a witness in the house. Let me tell you something. Something's about to change. God is about to come in here with a strong hand. There's people fixing to get restored in droves before we leave this service. I'm telling you not what I feel, but what I know in the Holy Ghost right now. It's going to be great deliverance tonight. Somebody's coming back home. Somebody's getting their mind back. I want to take for a text tonight and preach out of verse 1 and preach off of this subject tonight. Tomorrow, about this time. Tomorrow, about. Oof, man, I feel the Holy Ghost. It's getting dangerous. <laughs> about this time. Lord, we love you. <laughs> we thank you for my God. I'm Oshan, I'm Yeah, yeah, yeah. I pray you loose the gifts of the Spirit in this house tonight. Get out of here, fear. Get out of here, doubt. I come against unbelief in Jesus' name. You got to go. No doubt you got to go. You ain't got no place here tonight. As folks fixing to be healed, as folks fixing to be delivered, the devil is a liar. Excuse me. Something's about to change. 
I got, I feel something breaking right now. I'm telling you right now, I see chains busting off of people's ankles right now. Somebody's going to get their praise back tonight. Somebody's going to get their foot back in worship tonight. The devil is a liar. We're running devils out of Beaumont tonight. You can't stop a move of the Holy Ghost tomorrow. About this time, we're going to be having revival. We're going to be having church. We're going to be having a move of the Holy Ghost. Go ahead, brother. We got time. You hear me right now? I don't know what's fixing to happen. Nobody move. Let me tell you something right now. He cut them. Oh, God. He cut them. My God. He cut them. I'm telling you, there's angelic beings in this house. I can't even look at the congregation tonight. God's fixing to show us some of his glory right now. I have not seen, ear has not heard what God's about to do in Beaumont. But you wait till tomorrow. It's fixing to come to pass. My marriage is going to be healed. My kids are going to be delivered. Woo! There's a lot of voices tonight that would like to voice their opinion about this church. My, my. Woo. Huh. Oh, God. Mm. There's a lot of naysayers that are about to be proven wrong. <laughs> Pastor Carr, don't you know you can't have church? with people that have made mistakes. Don't you know? Them? <laughs> yeah. Woo. God's been dealing with me about this church. Woo. You let them say what they want to say. Shall the Lord make windows in heaven, they said in mockery and in sarcasm? The prophet said that the prices that were inflated were fixing to come down. Huh. Oh, God, I feel the Holy Ghost right now. That sound familiar? Huh. And somebody in their all wisdom, and they're all thinking to themselves, leaned over, the Bible says, that Lord, a small L, lowercase L, leaned over to their Lord, <laughs> lowercase L, and said, shall the Lord, capital L, make windows in heaven? I believe just about that time, God, God got up off his throne. 
You want to make God angry, you start telling what he can do. And it's been voiced to some of you in this congregation. God can't save your family. I believe the whole time God is in the throne like this. God can't heal your mama. God can't save your backslidden cousin. And the whole time I believe God's getting anxious. Mm. Let me tell you something. Oh, God. You're about to experience one of the greatest waves of revival that this church has ever known. Brother Beers, if you're here tonight, if you're still here, let me tell you something. Because of this umbrella that you're under, it's going to the sanctuary. Let me tell you something. There's backsliders coming back to Lumberton. God can do it. Can there be windows in heaven? I believe God's getting up off his throne and saying, don't you tempt me. Don't you tempt the Lord thy God. I might just end up healing somebody. I might just end up delivering somebody. I might just end up delivering my backslidden babies. And the prophet responds and he said not only is it gonna happen but you ain't gonna have no part in it you're gonna see it with your eyes but this table spread that we're preparing for this lunch tomorrow your name won't be found at this table <laughs> you're going to be looking while we're feasting on turkey legs brisket <laughs> come on <laughs> barbecue baked beans and sweet tea and lemonade <laughs> and you said we couldn't have revival you said these people no longer had a chance you said they couldn't be restored but tomorrow about this time <laughs> They're going to be the same ones eating in front of your face. And all you're going to be able to do is look. You're going to be looking for your chair at the table. No, baby. No, baby. No. All of a sudden, the Bible says there's four leprous men. I never understood it. I, I, I still don't understand it in totality. It don't make sense to put them right here in the middle of this, of this great, great story we got going on. Right now, we got dignified people, and as far as we know, they have made no mistakes. All of a sudden, the Bible says there was four leprous men. You know, the ones that are used to being called out before they even get to the town. Unclean! That wasn't plain enough for some of you. Broken marriage! <laughs> Backslid 10 years ago, just came back. Uh -huh. Ooh. Oh, God. Hey, I ain't stuck. I'm letting it simmer in on some of your minds right now. I'm letting some of you catch up where we're going right now. He caught up by a tall up by. They got sick and tired of being labeled. They got sick and tired of missing out on the miracles. They had always heard, heard, heard of everything that God was doing for his children. Not once do you ever find that God tells a leper that they are no longer his child. Hang on. All of a sudden, it's these that are going to the enemy's camp. Oh, <laughs> And the Bible says that the Lord, he went before the lepers. 
the ones who didn't have it all together, the ones who were never invited. Oh, God, the ones who weren't on the platform singing tonight. The ones who come in late and leave early so nobody will talk to them and relive their past situation. God went before them. And he went to the enemy's camp and all of a sudden they started hearing something they had never heard before. Our God, it sounds like horses. It sounds like chariots. It sounds like a host. It sounds like an army. We got to get out of here. We're about to die. The Bible says that the Lord caused them to hear a noise that they drove out. Let me tell you something. There's been some things that have been being voiced to the congregants of this congregation. I'm telling you, God's not sending a preacher. He's not sending anybody. He's getting up himself and he's sending a noise. He's sick and tired of the doubt that you've been sowing. I don't even know if you're here tonight, but I know you tune in every once in a while on the live stream. Let me tell you something, you're on dangerous ground tonight. You've got God's attention and it ain't in a good way. He's coming to visit your home. He's coming to visit your family. You've been naysaying, telling God what he can't do with this church that he died for. He's getting above his throne. There's a noise coming. There's a noise coming. And here comes the one mislabeled. They got baggage. Nobody can counsel them. Good luck. And they're coming here. Ooh, The Bible says that they went to the camp. He got And there was food. There was spoils. Let me tell you something, God's about to cause for the enemy to leave their territory. And we are going to gain their spoils. We're going to gain their captives. Come on. Shandama. Come on. I know they're singing for hell tonight. But they're going to be singing for the glory of God by the time it's over. I know they're playing an instrument in a nightclub. But before it's over, tomorrow, about this time. All of a sudden, it's the lepers who are making this thing come to pass. You say, all right, preacher, what are you trying to say? I'm telling you on the outskirts tonight. You're so used to everybody being in the red hot prayer meeting. You're so used to everybody laying their hands on somebody and people getting the Holy Ghost. You're so used to seeing everybody with their family put together just right. And there you are in your brokenness. <laughs> come on, in your leprousness, if you'd allow me to say it like that. You've came with your baggage. You've came with your label. But God sent this preacher by here tonight to tell you the miracle wouldn't have come to pass without the lepers. The miracle wouldn't have come to pass without the lepers. We need the lepers. We need the mistakes. We need the ones who are broken tonight to get on board and say, I know it looks bad right now, but God's hand, God's hand, God's hand. It's fixing in a beat. And tomorrow, about this time, everything's going to change. Ooh. Ooh. I feel something prophetic in the house tonight. Literally, tomorrow, about this time, ooh, shot down my head. Ooh. Oh, God. I see somebody getting in contact with the backslider. Let me tell you something, a lot can happen in one day. One day with the Lord is as a thousand elsewhere. All of a sudden, they get back. <laughs> they get word. The enemies ran off. And now... The prices at this 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 dude who's so carnal <laughs> said it couldn't happen. All of a sudden, it comes to pass because of the lepers. Oh yeah. Whew. 
Preacher, you don't know. Everybody sees me limping tonight because they know where I got this scar. They know where I got this limp. Five years ago, I made a fool out of my whole family. It's you, baby. It's you, friend. It's you, sir. It's you, ma'am. You don't understand my marriage right now. It's so broken. We argue every other 10 minutes, and we can't ever get it. It's you. It's you. It's the one who's always looking in from the sidelines, saying, man, I remember when I used to pray like that. Go out to take the mask off right now, because where we're going, he cut up. God wants everybody in this building to be on board. All of a sudden, the prices came down. <laughs> and the naysayer ooh, was there to see it. And the Bible says that he was at the gate. Ooh. And it came to pass, the Bible says, that he saw it with, the, with his eyes, but he was not able to partake of it. And the Bible says that he got trampled in the gate. Mm, 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 mm. He got trampled by people that were on the way to their miracle. They got sick and tired of hearing the lies of hell that they can never get to a good place in God, that they can never see the miracle come to their family, that they can never see the healing take place. All of a sudden, they put the enemy under their feet and they said, no more. Just tomorrow, about this time, there's a change coming. My family's going to be saved. My marriage is going to be put back together. I'm going to... Lift your hands. Ooh. Young lady, obey the Holy Ghost right now. I know where you are. I could easily come to you, but I'm not. The Holy Ghost said it's up to you tonight. It's up to you to come to this altar with the label. It's up to you to come with the baggage and say, my God, I'm buying in. I'm going to be part of the miracle. I'm going to be part of the promise. I'm just as much as part of this church as the service leader was tonight. This is my church. This is my family. This is where I'm going to grow. This is where my babies are going to be raised. Oh, Tama. That's it. Everybody praying across this house right now. Nobody looking around. This thing's fixing to come in waves, man. I feel the Holy Ghost right now. Ooh. If hell has been attacking your marriage, you bring your marriage to this altar right now. You don't worry about who's watching. Tomorrow, about this time, there's a change coming. God's sending peace back to your home. Come on. He condo mo shanda maye. Come on. If you're here tonight without your spouse, I want you to come and stand in for the both of you and tell the devil tomorrow about this time. It looks bad right now. They're not here tonight, but my God has 24 hours and there is a change. We need everybody is everybody's involvement right now. Come on, we don't need spectators tonight. Everybody praying. Everybody praying right now. I need some prayer warriors right now. Come on. There's some of you that are still able right now. Saying, I can't lay my hand. I can't pray my the devil is a liar. It's the lepers that God's gonna use to bring the miracle to pass. Bring your 
mistakes to the altar. Bring your baggage to the altar. Bring your problems. Tomorrow, about this time, there's a backslider coming back home. There's a marriage being restored. There's a young person who's going to pray through to the Holy Ghost. That's it, the Holy Ghost is here. I said the Holy Ghost is here right now. That's it, open your mouth, sir. Let the Holy Ghost take control right now. some captives. I know you think the chains are going to last. I know you think the shackles are going to last. But tomorrow, about this time, as deliverance. That's it. Let the tears flow, young lady. Let the tears flow right now. You let God break you right now of your will. That's it. Let the Holy Ghost have his way. house tonight. Somebody lift your hand. 
you to keep praying right now. Let the Holy Ghost tell me to tell a young lady here tonight, maybe not in your teenagers, maybe in your 20s and your 30s, but out of fear, you have not made a move tonight like you know you should have. The spirit of fear came in last night and woke me up about two or three times where I had to deal with it. And the Lord nudged me in this altar call right now and said, it's a woman. She's been abused. It wasn't her fault. Now she thinks that her innocence is marred and that she can never get it together again. You tell her that I want to take the scars. I want to take what hell has been lying to her that she will succumb to from her tonight. And I want to heal like only I can. Ma'am, you can't deny it. I don't care who's sitting next to you. I don't care who's standing next to you. I don't care. I don't care what they're going to say tonight. You have a duty tonight to obey the Holy Ghost. And right now, I'm praying that you make a move with the chains that you feel, with the shackles that you feel. In the name of Jesus. I come against a spirit of condemnation right now. Get off of their shoulders. Get out of their mind. I pray by authority of the Holy Ghost. We lose the gift of faith tonight. Everybody right now in one accord and one mind begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Come on. Come on. There's chains being broken. There's captives being set free right now. Somebody's about to be healed right now.
come on. The Lord's reminding us no matter what the weapon is, He wants you to know. Oh, come on. No matter what the weapon is, no matter what the weapon is, I want you to know that I win. No matter, because I want you to know that I win. No matter what the weapon is, I want you to know that I win. No matter what the weapon is, I want you to know that I win. I want you to know that I win. What you need to do right now is you need to find somebody. Hold on. You need to find somebody you can shout with. Hey, Amen. This is an atmosphere right now that the Spirit of the Lord came in and He broke something. Amen. And we need to walk out of here dancing and shouting for what God has done. Amen. Not down and depressed. Amen. But He's brought us out. He's strengthened us. He's helping us. Amen. You need to find somebody you can shout with. Come on. Go ahead.
Come on, clap your hands unto the Lord and lift your voice and shout. Hallelujah. Oh, God, you're good. Hallelujah. Amen. Turn to somebody around you and say, tomorrow about this time. Tomorrow about this time. Amen. I'm expecting. We already have victory reports from tonight. Edgar didn't want to get out of the baptismal tank. Amen. The Lord touched him and filled him with the Holy Ghost and baptized in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. What a great God we serve. Amen. Thank you, Brother Hernandez, for that challenging word. Choir, thank you for setting the atmosphere. Amen. What a great atmosphere in the house of the Lord. Can we just worship him together one more time right now? Lord, we love you. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, mighty God, you're great. You don't know how. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Papa, hallelujah. Come on, the presence of the Lord is still here. If you want to go, you're welcome to leave, but there's a there's a lingering spirit of the Lord here right now. And Yes, he calaba.
I think there's too many times. We have a perception of a finished work. And the work is not finished until the day the trumpet sounds or until the day we die. Brother Savoy began to speak in tongues. I just, I just got the imagery of a potter working on clay. The Bible says the, the potter, the clay was marred. Where at? In the potter's hands. There's times that life brings us through things and our own decisions, something in us causes something to go wrong. And the master potter has to smash it back down and start all over again. None of us like starting over again. But thank God, Brother Thibodeau, for second chances and third chances and fourth chances and fifth chances. The wonderful thing in all of that is we're in his hands. And he begins to shape and mold once again to make something beautiful out of something that was marred. Something useful out of something that was useless. Something powerful out of something that was powerless. What a great God we serve. He's shaping you. Hear the word of the Lord tonight. Trust him. Trust him. If he'll use four lepers to bring victory to an entire nation, he can use any of us who feel so invaluable and unworthy and incapable. He can use any of us. He's shaping us, molding us. Turn to your neighbor and say, he's shaping you. He's shaping you. Valeria, he's shaping you. Close your eyes one more time. Will the Wallace just keep playing? Come on, there's somebody right now. You, your spirit, you can feel the hands of God. On, you don't like what you're going through. You don't like where you're at. But the hands of God are on you. <laughs> you don't like that you have to start all over again. But oh, what, what better hands to start all over again in? Lord, I will trust you. <laughs> you know, okay.
Come on, sing it to him. Still I will of singing it, can you just allow the spirit right now to bubble forth up out of your spirit? <laughs> I thank you, God. Trust you. 